Hey guys, Rod Sanger of Car Audio Security. Welcome back to the channel, Cash Unplugged, episode 14. We've got a lot to talk about. Car and coffee events, we're gonna talk about shows, we're gonna talk about customers' cars, Cash project cars, cars that have been sold, cars that have been bought, and cars that have arrived from South Africa. Guys, sit back and hopefully you'll enjoy this episode. So guys, as you can see, the car on the plinth has changed. We have got Piper Crosses, Mark 8 Golf R here. This will be here for a couple of weeks. Uh, Piper Cross air filter and forge carbon bits. This car looks the nuts. So if you're local, come in and check it out. That's enough of the shop. Let's get over into the workshop because that's where the action is happening today. So guys, before I get into the workshop, there's a couple of cars here that I need to show you. That's our one series, stock one series, and we are doing what's called a sleeper build. The car will remain as it is from the outside, so unassuming, but inside it's gonna have one mammoth Hertz audio build. And I'll show you some of the build as it's in progress in the workshop. And we've got my June purchase here, the Red 964C2. We're now getting it ready so it's drivable. I hate the harnesses, um, the rear spoiler doesn't work. There's odds and sods that we're rectifying. So we'll get that done, drive it around a bit and then get it over to Northway Porsche for a service. Now, let's get into the workshop. So we've got our first job for today and I've got the old microphone here, Jay. Sorry mate, turn the volume down. What you saying? What's so. up? Um, T6.1. Alpine, in fact, we fit quite a few of these uh, Alpine ILX screens. They look absolutely brilliant in- Brilliant quality screen. Vitos, uh, T6s and so on. Workshop, another mad one, hasn't it? Yeah. The one series outside, the sleeper build. Yes. So here we have the door card. So we've bought some new door cards, so we don't butcher the door cards that are the in the car. The existing ones that are on the car at the moment. And plan here is? So the plan is to load the doors up with speakers. So you're gonna have one, two, three, probably a, four speakers in there. Six and a half inch. Six and a half inches. Check this out. These are the subs. New Hertz slimline uh, shallow mount 10 inch subs. So this is a proper big build and this will have its own episode on the channel. In fact, the box is hiding over there. Keep an eye on the channel. I think that's probably gonna be another two, three weeks before we get that done. It's a big job, isn't it? Yeah, there's quite a bit involved in it. Yeah. You're having to cut up, you've got to mirror that on two door cards, and you've got to literally make the whole back in, make sure all the speakers fit. It's a, it's a lot of work, a, guys. It's a labor intensive work. Um, but yeah, separate episode on that uh, build dropping on the channel soon. Um, I'll let you carry on, yep. I'll grab okay. the mic. Um, we've got our 635 CSI here, which we've just pulled out to do a sort of annual health check. Um, check the suspension, bits and pieces, check the wheels, check the tires. When it comes to airlift installation, we sort of recommend that every 12 to 18 months you get a health check. If you want a health check, in the description below, you've got our email details, or just drop us a DM on Instagram at Cardi Security, and we can quote you up. And over here, we've got Maverick and Jason, with Blade. All right. How are we doing? Yeah, we're good. Uh, so Blade has come back from a mam mammoth honeymoon after getting married recently. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're back on with the shop project. Yep. The Civic Type R. Yeah, yeah. What's the plans? Uh, so today I'm doing the coilovers. So time coilovers are going on, so it's a lowering day. And then hopefully we'll get the wheels on as well today. And then after that, we should be doing a bit of the rust treatment and servicing and kind of health related bits and bobs. I think there's an EP3 there. episode that you filmed recently, which is probably going to drop yeah. after this cast and plug yeah, drops. So, yeah, I think last week. And what was in that. that episode? That was basically a noise episode. So that was the intake and the exhaust. So that's already been done. Good. So, Enjoying driving the car? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. I'll leave you to it. Sweet. Uh, Sweet. Crack on and I'll see you in a bit. Sweet. Jason, Maverick, I'll see you in a bit. Let's go and grab Palm, and as we do, we'll go for a drive. 
Um, I think we'll take the TT, which is over there in the corner. Loads of other stuff that's been going on. So let's grab Palm and go for that drive. <sighs> oh. What are you saying? The things you've got to do to be on camera, right? Eh? Yeah, I know. I know you're a busy man. No. Well. This TT's all right, isn't it? This TT's sick. Anyway, guys, we are in our Audi TT two litre TFSI Quattro. Quattro S line. That's a mouthful. Let's talk, as we always do, about shows. Since our last cast and plug, there's only been one proper big show. Slammed UK Stroke Gra uh, Gravity um, over at the NEC. Boy, what a show that was. Now, you didn't go, you couldn't go, you were at a wedding, weren't you? Yep. Doing the old bungara. Oh, that's it, mate, yeah. yeah. Yeah, light bulbs and all that. Yeah, all of that nonsense going on. <laughs> so, set up on the Friday, show is Saturday, Sunday, I think 26th and 27th. 26th and 27th of August. Uh, I went up on the Sunday and the guys told me they were blown away by the sheer volume of people on the Saturday morning when the doors opened. It was a big, it was a bit, the thing is it was a big gamble for Jordan to, you know, putting a show on at NEC, you've, you've got to fill that place out. Yeah. And I think he'd done that really well. Yeah, and from what the boys reported, it was a, an amazing show. I think that the fact that he got so many cars with a wide variety of supercars, dance cars, scene cars, modified cars, Everything. the drift area, you know, international cars, and obviously we'll go into that. New good friend, who was a friend on social media, and now he's a new good friend, uh, Tariq, AKA uh, Chip, bought his, well, sent his BMW E9 over uh, in a container just for the Gravity Show. Sick, isn't it? There's a separate video coming out on that. Um, oh no, that's tomorrow. Oh no, you probably would have already seen it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, there's a separate video with Palm uh, having a sort of a vlog style video with Palm having a discussion with Tarek uh, about the E9, the history of the E9, the history of, I don't want to say any more because you need to watch that video if you haven't. Uh, there's a card up here now, tap it, you can watch it afterwards or if you go to the description, there'll be a link to that video. Guys, you must give that a watch. And saying that, Blade did his first show video. So all, most of you know Blade from the shop videos where he reviews new products. And uh, we gave Blade a mission. Um, Matt wasn't available. Blade, get over to Gravity NEC and film the show video. That's dropped on the channel the other day. Again, if you've not watched that in the description, there'll be a link. Um, he smashed it, didn't he? He done a good job on that. Yeah, he, he did a, a great job. And uh, let us know what you think of Blade uh, doing show videos going forward. He knows a lot about a lot. He does, actually. <laughs> he knows more about yeah. JDM cars than I think all of us put together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well as knowing enough about the German cars and so on and so on. This is insane. This month we've got a Porsche event which is on Saturday the 23rd of August. It's with Papa G Food Truck. There are still some spots available so if you've got a Porsche, anything, any Porsche, classic, new, anything in between, modern, um, go into the description you'll find a link to the CAS website, events page and just uh, apply and we'll get your car into the car park next month and in October we've done this every year so far can you remember what cars and coffee event we do yeah Empower he's got good memory yeah I'm the first one there man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah Empower event next month in October not sure about the date uh, but we will finalize that probably next week so after the Porsche event we'll throw out the date for the M car Empower event and it's any car which has got an M engine so if your car is uh, an M Tech, that's not the same as having an M Power engine. So guys, don't get offended if we say no, we can't have your car there. Um, because we did offend a few people last year. Which Why did you choose this route? Just stuck in traffic, dude. I know. I, we're in West London. What, what, what were you expecting? A free run? One thing I have noticed though, there's no more old cars on the road. Yeah, I've, <laughs> no, I've noticed that. I think this uh, ULES 
nonsense is starting to affect people. Even on my way into work, I see less, I'm not gonna say classic cars, but less older cars that you know are diesel cars, which are obviously you know, uh, a little bit more polluting than some of the more efficient cars. So It's a real shame because mm. it doesn't actually make sense. They, so on one hand, they're saying, or Sadiq Khan saying, we don't want you to die early. But if you pay us £12.50, you could die whenever you want. <laughs> yeah. 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 In a nutshell, that, that, that's basically what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can carry on driving your polluting car yeah. as long as you pay £12.50 yeah. every day. Um, it's a shame, I've got to say. It's, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are being affected by that charge. You know, so it is what it is. It's here to stay. We've just got to you roll reckon? with it. It's here to stay, unless... I reckon it might look, get revoked we're, we're, at some point. Yeah, we, we won't get too political about this because yeah, that's just, not what this channel's yeah. about. So we leave that to other channels. We've got one event that we'll be attending this month, and that is Westside VW. It's Sunday, the 24th of September. It's at the Cricket Ground in Chalfont St. Peter. Always a great event, fantastic vibe. Um, as usual, we will take a fleet of cars uh, to the event, and we will be taking our August purchase, which has not dropped on the channel yet, but we'll be taking it to Westside VW. We'll be filming that car this week. Really? Yeah, so that video will go out, fingers crossed, before Westside VW, uh, and that is a, a cool car. That's another classic 90s car, and it's a car that's been on my radar for a while. It's, uh, it is special, it's it, a unicorn? Call it a unicorn? It, it's, the colors are fairly unicorn color. The car isn't unicorn. The colors are fairly unicorn color. But you guys are gonna love this one. It's a, it's another classic that I've added to the fleet. It's a long term, it's a keeper. Um, so yeah, and obviously, I'm sure some of you have already seen, uh, our July purchase was the Barn Find E30 M3 convertible, which has had some serious love online. You know, best part of 45,000 views on that video. And that was just the first video that dropped the reveal video. We're gonna be filming another video, hopefully next week, get some service parts in and get that car started up and running, get it through an MOT. It does like this car. The reason why we're in our TT is this is one of two cars that has now come to the end of its project. Um, the first one is the E46 M3 convertible, the carbon black car, that's actually sold. That car will be leaving today, and that car has been sold to LLF company, so LLF. LLF. LLF competitions. So yeah, it's gonna be on a competition site, and so the chances are, if you want that car, and I know some of you are quite disappointed because that car sold within 24 hours of me posting it on Instagram, a great car by the way. If you guys are interested in that car, uh, we'll drop uh, a link in the description to LLF Competition's Instagram page and we'll post when it does go live. You can win that car for, I don't know, 99 pence or whatever. Yeah. Because their competitions tend to be cheap, don't they? Normally 99p, well from 99p. You're not just going to buy the one ticket. Yeah, you're, you're going to buy buying 10, 15, 20 tickets. Yeah, why not? Uh, and also the TT, uh, this project's finished. This car will officially go up for sale as well. So by the time this video goes out, there'll be an auto trader link for this car and we'll throw that in the description. Um, great car, this one as this, well. This is amazing. We've had this car for a year. Uh, we've used it, we've done some upgrades, um, but it's time to move it on and jump into another project. Finally guys, uh, last month we had a competition, uh, winner of the Slam Sanctuary goodie bag, details are on the screen. This month's competition, well, let's see if any of you can guess what our August purchase car is. It's a 90s hot hatch classic car, um, one that's been on my radar for a while. Um, so yeah, uh, if any of you can guess that, one of you will win a Slam Sanctuary goodie bag with the latest merch and a Maguire's goodie bag. Just drop a comment below. What do you think our 90s hot hatch purchase is? I'll, I'll give, let's give them a clue. Let me give them a clue. Go on then, go for it. If you love Volvos, you're going to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't know if that's a clue because I don't really think I'm out there looking for a Volvo. Um, but yeah, it's a car that's been on my radar for a while. So guys, some of you that know me well and I've spoken about this particular, this type of car in some of my videos previously, drop a comment. One of you guys uh, will win that. As always guys, thanks for watching. Um, episode 14 done. Guys, as we always say, smash the like button make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll be back on cas sometime soon one more thing before i go there's there's an airlift deal going out in the next few days um all my all golf performance kits with 3p management are going to be back at the 2019 price so pre-covid price um for a limited time so if you're in the market for an air ride kit for any golf that's mark one mark two mark three mark four mark five mark six mark seven mark eight they're going to be on offer uh, for a limited time only in the next week or so um yeah, palm's always got the deals you know he's always got the deals all right guys uh love you lots and uh see you next time bye peace truck pulling in but uh oh wait till we tell him you're in the wrong place yeah, you need to go next door, mate. Sorry. Yeah.